In the north of the Gaza Strip, Palestinian groups continue their sorties in the coastal zone of the city. In turn, the Israeli Air Force launches artillery and airstrikes on the neighborhoods of Al Sheikh Ijlin and Tel Al Hawa. At the same time, Israeli commanders demanded that locals evacuate from southern Gaza. Apparently, the Israel Defense Forces are preparing for the resumption of the offensive in this area. In the central part of the enclave, Israeli forces are fighting in the area of the Salah al-Din Highway, near Deir al-Bala. The IDF's main efforts at the moment are focused on destroying potential Hamas infrastructure. In the south of the Gaza Strip, Israeli units are engaged in fierce fighting in the western neighborhoods of Khan Yunus. At the same time, massive strikes are being carried out on non-Israeli controlled suburbs. A difficult situation persists in the area of Nasser Hospital, which has effectively stopped providing medical care to the injured. From time to time, the Israelis carry out filtering activities, arresting anyone who comes under suspicion. At the same time, Israeli forces continue their offensive in the Abbasan al-Kabira neighborhood. On the northern outskirts, the Israelis encircled the Algiers hospital, while to the east, they entrenched themselves at the Omar bin Abdul Aziz mosque. In the southernmost part of the enclave, IDF, strikes again, targeted urban development in the border town of Rafa. Damage was recorded in refugee camps and residential neighborhoods. The number of casualties is in the dozens. Police operations by Israeli security forces continue unabated in the West Bank. Dozens of local residents were arrested again, including several prominent journalists. Along the Lebanese-Israeli border, the routine exchange of strikes on population centers continues. Israeli forces bombarded the entire south of Lebanon, reporting the defeat of Hezbollah infrastructure. In turn, Lebanese militants fired rockets at IDF strongholds and military bases. However, the hits hit open terrain, while the sites themselves were not damaged. As for the entire Middle East, Pro-Iranian formations continue to show limited activity. In Syria, proxies came under fire from U.S. military positions near the Conoco plant. In the Red Sea region, Yemeni Houthis fired missiles at Rubimar bulk carrier and managed to sink it. Two other ships were also reportedly attacked, but suffered only minor damage and were able to keep running. 